Welcome back to the Palm Mister Channel. In this video, we will show you how to install and wire the Palm SPH six kilowatt all in one solar inverter. Inside the package, besides the inverter itself, you will find four mounting brackets and the back of accessories. First, attach the four brackets to the reserved screw heads on both sides of the inverter. Each bracket requires two screws. When installing the first screw, don't tighten it all the way. This will make it easier to adjust the angle when installing the second one. Once both screws are in place, tighten them securely. Next, use the expansion bolts from the accessory back to mount the inverter onto the wall. Here we are doing a temporary demo installation on an OSV board without expansion bolts. But in your actual setup, make sure to use expansion bolts for safe and reliable long-term operation. Now use the island wrench provided in the package to remove the six screws from the port cover and then make off the cover. Loosen the screws on the battery terminals and the other connection ports, remove the waterproof covers and get everything ready for wiring. Let's start by connecting the battery. Connect the battery's positive and negative terminals to the inverter. Since the inverter's maximum charging current is 135 Ampere, you should install a 160 Ampere DC circuit breaker on the battery light. Next, connect the AC input. A 40 Ampere circuit breaker is used here, but you can also use a 32 Ampere one if needed. Then connect the AC alpha lights. Because the main output and the second output share the same neutral, you can twist the copper towards of both neutral wires together before inserting them into the terminal block. This makes the connection tighter and more secure. Connect the two live wires to their corresponding terminals and the two neutral wires to their respective circuit breakers. If you configure circuit breakers according to each output's maximum power, 6000W for the main output and 4200W for the second, you should use 32A and 25A circuit breaker respectively. However, if the load is evenly distributed, you may choose slightly lower ratings. Next, connect the two PV inputs. Simply plug the MC4 connectors from the two PV arrays into the inverter's built-in MC4 terminals. The inverter comes with a built-in Wi-Fi module. All you need to do is attach the included antenna to the Wi-Fi port. We will cover in a future video how to use Wi-Fi module to remotely monitoring and control the inverter throughout your smartphone. Then connect the CD sensor and BMS communication cable. The BMS cable can also be replaced with a standard Cat5B Ethernet cable. Install the CD sensor on the grid light wire, making sure the arrow on the CD points toward the grid. After completing all wiring, reinstall the port cover. Close the battery circuit breaker and turn on the inverter using the switch on the left side. Now connect the other end of the BMS cable to the battery. Here we are using the PAL LIO series lithium iron phosphate battery, so connect it to the RS45A port and set the deep switch to 1. On the inverter display, go to battery settings 1. Set the battery type to pylon 45 and make sure the BMS address matches the deep switch, which is 1. If there are no error messages on the main screen, it means communication between the inverter and the battery is successful. You can then view the detailed data such as SOC and the other parameters on the battery data page. That's all for this PAL SPH 6kW all-in-one solar inverter installation and wiring demonstration. We hope this video helps you with your installation. 
Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.